This week's video blog is about slow it down, mister. Come on, man. I know you got so much going on. This is Ecclesiastes 12. I felt like the Lord say, go back and revisit something he gave me years ago. At the end of the scripture in Ecclesiastes 12 is the conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. Surely this applies to every person. Can you believe that? It's right there. Ecclesiastes is one of my favorite books in the Bible. It was reality-based before reality TV shows for sure, man. It says this, the conclusion, when all has been heard and all has been done and all the books have been read, all the meetings are finished, is fear God, revere the Lord for who he is and what he does and keep his commandments. Surely this applies to every person. So here's chapter 12. Remember also your creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come and the years draw near when you'll say, I'm a lot older now and I have no delight in these days anymore. Before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened and the clouds return after the rain. In the day that the watchmen of the house are trembling and the mighty men, well, they used to be mighty, they stoop over now. The grinding mill stands idle because there are few people to run it. And those who look through the windows, the holes in their doors, they grow dim. The doors on the street are shut and the sound of the grinding mill is very low. And one will arise as at the sound of a bird. I love that. And check it, all the daughters of song are singing softly. Everything has come down to this, this low moment here. Furthermore, men are afraid of a high place and terrors on the road and the almond tree blossoms. The grasshopper just barely drags himself along and the caper berry, that is the healing berry, is now ineffective. For man goes to his eternal home. We're not, life doesn't go on forever as we understand it here. We know that from the Old and New Testament. For man goes to his eternal home while mourners go about the street. Now remember him, it starts with remember your creator in verse one, but again it says, remember your creator before the silver cord is broken that is removed, that would be your spinal cord, and before the golden bowl is crushed, your spirit, the pitcher at the well is shattered, shattered and the wheel of the cistern is crushed, then the dust will return to the earth as it was in the spirit that is the breath that he put in you, will return to God himself who gave it. Vanity of vanities. I love this line. <laughs> it's all vanity. All flesh is his grass. But he said, vanity of va all is vanity. But in addition, even though that was heavy, he said, to being a wise man, the preacher sought to teach the people knowledge. And he pondered and searched out and arranged many proverbs. The preacher sought to find delightful words and to write the words of truth correctly love that. So the words of the wise men are like goads. They're like a sharp pointed stick used to prod. And the masters of all these sayings and proverbs are like well-driven nails. They are given by one shepherd. Here's the point. The conclusion then, what all has been heard is fear God, keep his commandments, because this applies to every person. You got to slow down. This week's video, I'm telling you, take some irons out of the fire. I, a couple, a year and a half ago, Lord said, I want you to live monastically before me. I thought, monks in a monastery. Interesting. How would I do that, Lord, now that I'm married and I have three children? At that point, he had three grandchildren. He goes, take some irons out. Just slow down, you guys. Slow down a little bit. Because the conclusion at the end of every day, every week, every month, and at the end of your life, will be, did you fear God? Did you have reverential awe for who God is and what he does? And did you keep his commandments? Surely this applies to every person. I know this video blog is different, but I, I feel you relaxing right now. <laughs> a little shalom is coming over you. You're like, I'm melting, right? You're like, that's good, that's good. Just take it in your spirit, slow down now, get the weight off, 100 pound weight on every shoulder is coming off of you right now. As I'm going to sing it over you, a song that I wrote years ago came back to me while we were doing this video blog. The conclusion of the matter then, the whole of the matter, let us hear this towards God, be reverent. Towards God, be reverent. And his commandments, observe these things because it concerns all of mankind. For every work will God bring into judgment with every hidden thing, whether good or evil. So here, one more time, the conclusion 
when all has been heard, is have reverential awe for God. Keep his commandments, because surely this applies to every person. So however you want to do it the next few days or the next few weeks, you, you can start the process of changing. It's time to change. Because at the end of every day, I go, Lord, I had reverential awe for you today, and I kept your commandments to the best of my ability and my knowledge. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. The conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord, yeah. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep his commandments. Surely this applies to every, every person. Surely this applies to every, every person. That's Ecclesiastes 12. That's awesome. Isn't it? And that conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. The conclusion when all has been heard, fear the Lord, yeah. The conclusion when all has been heard, is fear God and keep His commandments. Ah, surely this applies to every, every person. Lies to every, every person. We'll sing it going out like this. The reverential awe of who you are and what you do is good for me. The reverential awe of who you are, Lord, of what you do is good for me, I said. The reverential of who you are And what you do is so very good for me So I call I call Sing it again The reverential of who you are And what you do is so good for me Fear of the Lord the reverential awe of who you are and what you do is so very good for me yeah the reverential awe of who you are and what you do is so very good for me and so i call wait for you so good. Well, the reverential of all of who you are and what you do is so very good for me. Yeah. It's the beginning of wisdom, the fear of the Lord. Ha! It's the beginning of wisdom and understanding. Yeah. Oh, the reverential of all of who you are and what you do is so very good for me. And so here I am again, waiting on you, Lord. Yeah, so here I am again, I'm waiting on you, Lord. Yeah, so here I am again, waiting on you. It's my heart waiting on you, Lord. One more time, check it. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments. The conclusion when all has been heard fear the Lord. The conclusion when all has been 
Just fear God and keep His command. We get it, Lord. We get it, Lord. Remember, fear of the Lord, reverential of God. At the end of the day, when all the books are very wearying to the body, at the end of every day, every week, every month, I go, God, fear the Lord, keep His commandments. Surely, this applies to every person. God bless.